welcome back to a new video in my 30 ways to fill a sketchbook series. Today's painting looks at getting a bit more surreal with subject matter and more adventurous with colours, which I thought would be a fitting addition next to the weird and wonderful Courage the Cowardly Dog. So I started out by just sketching without thinking really. I wanted to lay down an idea really quickly without putting too much thought into it. So at first it was just a girl which was kind of boring. I ended up giving her like octopus tentacle hands and drawing a creature perched on her shoulder that started out going to be a flamingo but ended up turning into a long-legged deer or fawn. Her hair and these sort of clouds billowing around her were supposed to look quite fleshy and kind of fatty. I think they ended up taking on more of the look of like bleached coral reefs. This was one of the very rare instances in my art where I really don't consider anything too deeply. Whatever something looks like ends up being what it becomes rather than thinking of a thing and then trying to draw something that looks like it. The artwork itself I don't think you could class as abstract. In this case it was more of an abstraction of thoughts. With the painting, again, I didn't have any colour schemes or anything in mind. I had the thought that I'd use dreamy galaxy colours, do something quite dark in the background for her to stand out against. The way she's standing is quite imposing, so I wanted to frame her in a way that would exaggerate that even more, which is why I left her quite pale as well. At one point I smudged the paint into her hair accidentally, so I did the same thing on the other side of her head to make it look a bit more intentional. The great thing about drawing something so out there is that nothing has to make sense and your mistakes can really be easily covered up by just incorporating them into the piece. The smudge of paint on her hair ended up adding to the coral reef look I think because it added some jagged edges and it also made the flow of her hair look a bit more like horns. So I'm continuing on with my rediscovered love of inking with Biro. I think it worked out really well. I was able to add a bit of controlled shading and some very subtle changes in line thickness wherever I felt it was necessary. I feel a lot more confident drawing in biro because I'm not so scared that every line I put down has the potential of going wrong which sometimes feels like the case when I'm using a brush pen. With this I'm much more in control I think. I'm imagining her as some kind of mystical gatekeeper or guardian of some far off space place. She's got this all-knowing air about her. I didn't leave her eyes blank for any particular reason but now that I think about it maybe it's because she doesn't need to see you to know who you are, to know your character and if you're worthy of passing her. Anyway I finished off by adding details with pencil, a white gel pen and a metallic marker by Winsor & Newton. As always everything will be listed below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you for the next one. Bye!